Muammar Gaddafi releases a defiant audio message on Syrian TV. Meanwhile, the National Transitional Council battles for control of his hometown of Sirt. Nearly a month after pro-democracy forces took control of Libya, Muammar Gaddafi and some followers remain defiant. As the National Transitional Council forces battle loyalists in his hometown, Gaddafi released an audio message on Syrian TV. How can you topple a regime that is embedded in all the citizens who are in the millions? The claim that Gaddafi's regime has fallen is ridiculous and laughable, as Gaddafi doesn't have a political system that can be toppled. Gaddafi, whose whereabouts are unknown, also warned that NATO support would not last. NTC fighters rolled tanks and cannons into Sirt on Tuesday, one of a few remaining towns still controlled by pro-Gaddafi forces. These are the tanks of the tyrants, the ones he used to kill the children of Misrata. God is great, we are the revolutionaries of Misrata and we are coming. His son is here and we will catch him. God is great. Even as foreign powers recognize the NTC's legitimacy, Gaddafi has often insisted he cannot be ousted because he holds no official title. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, September 21st, 2011, and I'm Darko. This is part two of this news bulletin. If you're a new uh, listener, my website is ggnonline.com, www.ggnonline.com. And if you're not, you've probably had that website <laughs> in your dreams. You're probably hearing it in your head. Nah, hopefully you're not. It's, hopefully it's not that annoying. But either way, ddarko2012 is my YouTube channel. That's ddarko2012. You can uh, follow me either on, oh yeah, let me just point this out, uh, email you can follow me um, through my uh, website, ggnonline.com. Also on Facebook, we have a global government news group, um, so you can go in there and check it out and become a member, and uh, there's uh, almost 80 members now, So, and they post pretty good videos. So go in there and check it out. Um, it'll be with the links, all the uh, articles that I cover, the headlines and the links will be in YouTube's video description, so go down there and check it out. And uh, you'll find the uh, Twitter, uh, GGN, and uh, also Facebook's group. Uh, besides that, you can also subscribe on YouTube. Okay, I'm done with that. Just uh, read this poll off real quick and we'll get going. Uh, how likely is it that the standards of living will increase for the surf class in the next decade? And right now, uh, just like last time, 30 voters, 100%, say below 50% that the standard of living will increase, uh, well, for most of us, the middle class, right? And um, so we're going to get moving here. And says Gaddafi calls new Libya government a propped up charade. I thought that was pretty cool what he said. <laughs> it was, uh, I wasn't expecting him to, to uh, uh, he's kind of like pulling a, um, a legalese thing or a legal uh, kind of loophole where he's saying, well, you can't oust me. I'm not actually, I don't have an official title, which if you look into uh, uh, that form of government, that socialist uh, government in Libya that was in place, it really was the people's government. Like, literally, he was just kind of like a speaking head. You know, people think he's like this big military dictator because he was in the military. It's like, no, he, he's not like that. He's, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it really is in the hands of the people. And uh, so that's pretty unique that he said that. Okay, um, so let's see. Uh, we're going to keep moving here. And it says here, Libya, AU, and SA finally recognize new government. Talking about the African Union and South Africa. So it says reality has finally dawned on the African Union. No, it's the way that you could tell. Almost all of these websites are are, are always skewed um, towards the powers that be's agenda. So. Uh, but it goes in here and it says it wasn't international pressure alone that shoved the AU closer to reality. There you go again. Uh, discord within its own ranks left it with no option but to recognize the NTC as a legitimate representative of the Libyan people. And, um, and so what's important here is that the only reason I see that the African Union recognized the NTC as a uh, representative form of government for Libya is because... If they didn't, then they would be for Gaddafi. They would be with Gaddafi. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they would. It's just that's, a, that's how it would be interpreted uh, by the West, right? 
um, so they had to kind of recognize him. Otherwise, they would be, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe they maybe they didn't have to. But it, then again, it is an African Union. It is a union, just like the North American Union, the Asian Union, the European Union. So um, it just seems like, you know, it's like every other thing, like China. You know, it's just a matter of all. It's just business. It's all business. And it's a matter of can they can they still do business with this NTC, yes, okay, well then we recognize it. You know, it has nothing to do with the actual fact that, uh, you know, the NTC is a terrorist organization tied with Al-Qaeda, and Al-Qaeda just got a seat at the UN. So uh, it's like it is a charade. It's a cartoon. And Gaddafi said that uh, he gave him, the, uh, as he says, the rats uh, until September 30th to lay down their weapons or their going to really come for him so and this it's funny because the west is doing the same thing you have until so and so and so to get to put down your weapons and yet here we go as you uh as i cover this news watch when i when i cover it here um how the story kind of unfolds because really the west doesn't have any leverage right now they're losing leverage and now that's why they're increasing troops uh they're increasing um uh the days 90 days longer that they're going to be there because they're losing really uh, it's all a charade. U.S. deploys more troops to Libya. So here I just talked about that, talking about the CIA's director, or I'm sorry, the ex-CIA director, now U.S. Defense Secretary. You like that open, uh, what is it, uh, open-door policy? Uh, it says here, country's Defense Department has deployed 12 more troops in Tripoli to help with the reopening of the American embassy in the Libyan capital. And also Iran's opened it as well. That, that was kind of weird. It makes me wonder about Iran, too. Um, Libya conflict, NATO extends mission by 90 days. So, um, yeah, it says we're determined to continue our operation to protect the people of Libya while we bomb and kill them at the same time. You like that doublespeak. Libya ban discusses uh, cooperation with NATO in restoring peace. So it says here, uh, Ban Ki moon has discussed UN cooperation with the NATO in Libya with the head of the alliance, which has carried out uh, months of UN authorized air operations to protect civilians from Colonel Muammar Gaddafi's forces. So basically what they're saying here is that two countries had to take the initial blame for it, which was the U.S. like they always did. And of course, Sarkozy, which is trying to go back to the old uh, Viva la France and Napoleon era, like Turkey is right now. And uh, so they did the initial bombing and strafing and killing of infrastructure and, and people. And then NATO and then the UN will come in because they authorized it. And this is a UN humanitarian mission. They'll come in with their blue helmets and all that and the vaccinations. And they'll come in with the uh, IMF and the World Bank. And they'll start, uh, they'll get rid of Libya's own central bank that they had with gold and that. But they say it was to protect civilians from Gaddafi. Well, well really, they're protecting a minority of people, mostly mercenaries and terrorists and al-Qaeda, um, from the people and the forces of Libya. So they basically invaded uh, a sovereign country, like I've said so many times, which is totally illegal and immoral. U.S., and it just goes to show you that all these organizations and countries that are pr uh, proposing this or condoning it and supporting it, they themselves are terrorists. U.S. and Australia tighten military ties. So I've been to Australia. They are very, 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 very tight-knit with the United States military. I've been there twice, one to Tyndall in the north um, – a northern territory and then also in the northern ter territory darwin darwin's a beautiful city by the way u.s to build new massive prison in bagram and it's talking about uh, obama regime announced plans for hundreds of billions of dollars more in domestic budget cuts uh it late last week solicited bids for construction of a massive new prison in bagram afghanistan and uh, that sounds really, really... Next up, we have Iraq's vice president. U.S. troops to pull out of Iraq is scheduled. So, yes, we're coming home, boys. Troops are coming home. Wave the flags and everything. And, and uh, you know, we're out of Iraq, right? Massive U.S. embassy in Iraq will expand further as soldiers leave. So, hmm, very, very nice. says here, report says U.S. building new drone bases. You know, U.S. is reportedly building a series of secret drone bases, that's CIA drone bases in Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. They're referring to Somalia. So they really are, they've been, you know, dropping bombs on, um, on Al-Shabaab uh, uh, fighters. 
and in Somalia, and it's all CIA directed. They have CIA on the ground, and um, they have little prisons there as well, and actual bases. So now there's a big theater opening up in uh, Somalia. It says in the Arabian Peninsula to conduct strikes against targets in Somalia and Yemen. So like I said, these are the new theaters, Yemen and Somalia. I've been talking about Somalia and Yemen since I began GGN two years ago. Bomb kills Afghan district police chief. It says the police chief of a district in Afghanistan's eastern province has been killed at the unidentified militants detonated a bomb by remote controls uh, reports press team it says here no group has uh, claimed responsibility for the bomb explosion and there are 150,000 US led forces in Afghanistan right now it says here Taliban kills Rabani during talks a Taliban militant group has assassinated former Afghan president at his home in the capital city then look at this over two dozen Shiite pilgrims gunned down in Pakistan and they were reportedly traveling to Iran gunmen shot dead a Somali lawmaker unidentified armed men have shot and killed a lawmaker in the autonomous region of the Puntland in northeastern Somalia so more than 76 people so far have been arrested on suspicion 76 fighting between the political and Land groups is recently on the rise in Somalia's north northern breakaway state of the uh, Putlan or Puntland, however you pronounce that, and it said their authorities in January announced that they had broken with the transitional federal government based in Mogadishu. Measure was taken after the Mogadishu government issued a statement saying that the TFG uh, quote does not represent Puntland in international forums. And like I said before, um, Somalia right now uh, basically has Al Shabaab in control when they overthrew a U.S. backed dictator, Mohammed Asaid Bar. So that's the history of it right there. It says here PKK attacks police high school in eastern Turkey TV. This is interesting. Uh, members of the outlaw Kurdish Workers Party Wednesday morning attacked a police high school in the province of Bitlis in eastern Turkey, causing injuries. Uh, NTV channel reports. Now, this could be a false flag. I don't know, guys, because Turkey's been uh, doing. Um, a lot of uh, war posturing and now Turkish warplanes bomb 152 targets in Iraq. What are those targets? Said uh, basically they were the PKK in the northern Iraq. Says here they bombed shelters, checkpoints, and ammunition depots in north Iraq since August 17th, 2011. But it may just be that the uh, Kurds, you know, want their own little state. Says here Turkey banned men from soccer stadiums. Turkey is trying a new approach. And it says here uh, only women and children under 12 will be admitted to games involving teams sanctioned for unruly fan behavior. I'm going to speed it up here, so stick with me. Links will be posted. Post, uh, Pro Sali forces kill 12 people and that's in Yemen Nigeria military and biggest peacetime deployment investigation and I think they want a regime change in uh, Yemen the US does so because uh, I think he was anti-west China paper warns US against Palestinian UN veto then uh, Perry of Texas backs full Israeli control over Jerusalem and then, of course, Obama, Palestinian statehood must be achieved through talks with Israel. Look at this. U.S. President tells U.N. General Assembly Palestinians deserve their own state, but defends uh, threat to veto any bid on Friday. So a little bit of doublespeak there. Then we go on here, and he says, ultimately, it's Israel's and Palestinians, not us, who must reach an agreement on the issues that divide them. And he also says, peace will not come through uh, statements and resolutions. Well, maybe you can bomb them, Mr. Obama, like Libya, because that's what you're doing, right? Most places, you just go and bomb the shit out of them. Women, children, we don't discriminate in the U.S. of A, but you don't mess with Israel. So that's basically what he's saying. Obama warmly welcomes al-Qaeda at the U.N. So warm welcome to the al-Qaeda-linked Libyan rebels that have been officially recognized as the country's new leaders. Uh, are handed a seat at the U.N. General Assembly, the 66th General Assembly, 66th, I must repeat. Obama approval rating hits record low. Well, I wonder why al-Qaeda or al-Qaeda is in retreat. And that's in 2000 and what, eight? Panetta says that uh, U.S. is in within reach of defeating al-Qaeda. That's in July of 2011. Then al-Qaeda is not going away, CIA chief says. And that's just what, today? U.S. officials defends unilateral pursuit of alleged terrorists abroad. I mentioned this in my last video. This is about uh, the Marine that they put out there in the Medal of Honor, talking about being able to go in there and, and, and strike civilians and not having to worry about civ these pesky civilians getting in the way of these drone bombs, right? And so now they're saying uh, this, we should be able to do it without any restriction. 
and this is like the project of a new American century, we reserve the right to take unilateral action if or when other governments are unwilling or unable to take necessary actions themselves, Brennan told a conference. So that's pretty scary stuff there. Iran urges international aid for Afghan refugees. They've been holding them uh, since the beginning of the war, millions of them, giving them social services and that. Obama appoints 9-11 script writer and mastermind Zilko to intelligence uh, uh, advisory board saying uh, Israel is at threat and they need to create a new Pearl Harbor. He's also the head or was part of the New American Project for New American Cent. And Tony Bennett knows what's going on. On 9-11 attacks, they flew the plane in, but we caused two former law enforcement officers alleged they cannot get anyone to investigate allegations that the Mexican drug cartels have corrupted U.S. law officers and politicians. Then Mexican drug cartel gang dumps 35 bodies on city highway and Americans converge to confront illegal immigration in New Mexico. This is GGN. Thank you.